Hi everybody. This video is to show you um, another gift that I'm, another little thing to add to my gift for my nephew. Um, I'm actually once again making these for both nephews. Um, they're just a little wall hanging. You can see they have holes that you hang um, to, to show their, their rooms. And one is going to be one is going to be Lightning Queen, and it'll say Nate's room. And this guy is going to be green, and this is the one I have to make right now. It's going to have Tomator, and that will say Evan's room over here. So I'm going to cover these. I've been waiting to do this with my ATG gun. So let's see how it goes. Now, um, this is just, I got this at the dollar store. Um, so it's a really cheap project to make. Um, and it's not going to be too fancy because the boys, well, the boys are young. I'm only tracing this so that I can see where to put my um, my tape because I want to put my tape on my this first, and I don't want to use too much of it. So um, yeah, so I got these at the dollar store. And they were really cute. And I thought, hey, you know what? I can make a project with that. Let's try. So this way I try not to use, um, I'm going to use a lot of glue, a lot of tape, because I don't want, and they might be like ripping these around. I also have a tip. Um, with the being two boys and they're close in age, I didn't want fighting. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put, because the colors go with either of these, I'm going to, instead of gluing it on, I'm going to put Velcro strips on the back. So if they say, I want to mater, you could switch them back and forth. They can each take a week, you know, if they want to. And that way, Auntie Amy, that's what I'm called, is always thinking of how to make it so they don't get upset. Don't want my boys fighting. Well, not my boys, but I call them my boys because I don't have kids yet, um, so I spoil my job. Auntie who spoils. So this is just me putting a nice blanketing of ATG tape. Oops, see, I don't know why that happens. I mean, I do, but I don't like it when it happens because it can ruin... You know, it can make it bumpy. So I try to fix it when I see it happen before I adhere. Um, I'm learning. I just got the ATG gun, so there's a slight learning curve. I mean, it's fairly simple, but we're talking me here. Okay, so I have blanketed the whole thing. And now I'm just going to... this down. Maybe I should do it this way and then flip it around. And so I'm just putting it where I had it, give or take. I mean, I blanketed it around it too, so it doesn't really matter. And then I'm going to turn it over and get my bone folder. it a bit, but most of it's going to be covered anyway. So that's that. So that's adhered. And then I'm going to get my glass mat out because one of the ladies, I think it's Deshidu, told me that you used your glass mat to cut this out. So I'm going to just trim around this with my X-Acto knife and I will be right back. Okay. So here's what it looks like. It's all done. Um, and like I said, I just trimmed it out with my craft um, mat, with my thing, and it looks pretty good. So now I'm going to punch my holes with my Crocodile Big Bite, another new toy. Okay, but let's do, I'm going to cut Evan's room, and let's take you over to my carpet. Okay, 
So I'm going to load my paper. Um, like I said, I have the baby bug. So, and I think I'm going to try this at, let's do one and a quarter. So I want, <coughs> where's my little, I'm going to use the jumbo font. So I'm going to press, this is, I'm oh, sorry, this is lyrical letters. Um, it's a new cartridge with lots of fonts. So I'm going to do that and let's try cutting an E for Evans right Shift E. I'm just going to check the size and see if it's big enough. And I think that's going to work. Okay. So I'm going to do capitals. So I'm going to shift lock because it's for capitals. And V A N Evan. And then I need an apostrophe, which is the shift and the six button. And it gives you a bunch of them. It's actually quotes, but it'll give you what you need. And then I'm going to do room in tiny letters. So R O O M. And now let's cut it out. I just remembered that because it's going to think that I have a full mat here, I should have it the other way and set paper size. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop it when it gets down here, and I'll just move it up and redo it. But normally what you should do is turn this up around and then put it to the top and then put set paper size, and that way it'll make it all fit. But for me... I wasn't smart, so <laughs> I didn't think ahead. Um, so I think it should be able to do these guys, and then I'm going to move it for room. Okay, so I've cut out Evans, and I decided to change it to room instead of room, because I thought that was cute. Um, so here I'm just inking up the rest of, I did most of the letters, but I just wanted to ink it up just a little bit so that it stood off the, pay, the thing. And this is, I'm inking it in Summer Sun. So I'm stamping up. And these are the stamping spots that I told you about. Just do, do, do. And ink, ink, ink. So that's what I'm doing. This is the last one. And for the inside of these little letters, I actually do the part I hold on to, and I just kind of squish it in there. Okay. So now, I'm going to adhere this all with a Zig two-way glue pen. But first, I'm going to lay it out. So let's put it like this. And I think I like Evan up here. Evan's. Then we're gonna kind of have room. Room. Now I think I kind of want him hanging off just a little bit. Plus it helps. Okay, I think I like that. So I'm gonna glue it down with some zig and with my zig two-way glue pen, and I will be right back. <laughs> 